Hello everyone, welcome to my course and in this module we are discuss about threat protection, the third layer of security and I, I will show you how to configure auditing inside the Azure SQL. Now for that go to the portal.azure.com and here I am going to use same server which we have created in the first video inside this module. So select the firewall demo go to the sql server databases and i'm going to select db1 now inside the db1 go to the security and here you can see auditing select the auditing now what is auditing so azure sql auditing track database events and write them to the audit log in the azure storage account log analytics and workspace or event hub it means that whatever the query you are going to run inside this db1 database it will track here so let me enable this and here you have three options to store your data either storage account log analytics and event hub i go with the storage account select the subscription and select the storage account right now i i have audit log demo storage account but in your case you have to click create new and enter all the details and okay so i go with my existing storage account and save so successfully save the audit setting now here you can see view audit log click here right now i do not have any data now let me run some queries inside my server now go to databases and go to db1 and let me run some queries execute let me remove some record if i can okay so delete statement is not allowed because it's a referential integrity issue now go to the audit log so once you click the refresh button you can see all the activity are monitored here now click run in query editor give the password click ok you will get ready made queries and this is a function where you can read your your blob storage data and let me run this query and here you can see all the event occurred inside this server as well as you will know which user perform which SQL queries. So it's a very small concept. I hope you will get how the SQL audit work. But it's a powerful concept. So I, I would recommend please enable this SQL audit so you can track each and every query inside your SQL server. And you can and in case of any issue, you can easily audit who performed this query, what is the username, what is the password, what is the IP address, everything you can track. Also, you can add some extra condition and filter your data. So here I add two conditions, statement equal to address and action add equal to BCM. Now here you can see the whatever the statement we have fired so we first fire select statement and after that we fire the delete statement also here you can see the select statement is succeed and the delete statement is false because we are getting an error also you can export this data in a json csv or xml also you can save this query so thank you very much see you in the next video